everyone, Tiny Jimmy's here. I'm back with AI Soma Files. Such a nice view. Yeah. What's that? Door. No observation from that side rock. Um. It's freaking on now. I have no idea. So let's just pick the bottom. I don't know. Talk to the child. I decoded the message and went where it led me. To an underground floor of the Nice Japan building. They called it the Cathedral. The president, Miss Shigure, is waiting for me there. She complimented me on decoding the message and invited me to join Nice. That's probably why Bats 490 was being spread in the first place. Tokiko did mention that. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nice. Miss Shigure told me all sorts of things about Nyes' ideals. And I was sick of the world at the time, so when they told me this world isn't real, I fell in love with Nyes' beliefs right away. They told me to keep it all a secret. You cannot tell anyone about the secret of the world. The secret of the world, known by only a handful of people. I felt like I was special, just knowing I was one of the chosen few. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. Brainwashing children. What's going I thought I just told you. No, that's not what I meant. You deliberately lied about it pointing to Horidori Institute. You could have chosen not to say anything at all. But if I didn't say anything, you would have taken me in, right? Then I'd get tortured and injected with the truth serum, and you'd force me to talk about the secret of the world. I lied because I didn't want that to happen. Is that what he thinks the police do? Well, he is still a kid. Horidori Institute was the first place that popped into my head. I've been there lots. And I hated the director, Mr. Horidori. So I wanted to bug him a bit. It all started with the test. The results from my health checkup at my elementary school came back abnormal, so they wanted to do more tests. But instead of the hospital, I was taken to Horidori Institute. The test results show that you have some very special genetic abnormalities in your DNA. It's extremely rare. Only one in hundreds of thousands of people has it. One day, and it will be soon, you will fall ill to an incurable disease, and it will take your life. The only way for you to survive is to receive gene therapy through genome editing here at this institute. So I started going to Horidori Institute, but it wasn't true. Not really. No. Sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm stitching. About that envelope. I stole it from the institute. Found it on my doctor's desk. It said it was top secret. So I thought it must be super important. So, I grabbed it and put it in my pocket. Inside the envelope was pieces of paper with writing all over it. It was written in German, but I managed to figure out what it was saying by using a translation app. There actually wasn't anything wrong with my genes. It was all for the sake of research. Horridori Institute was rewriting my genetic code. They used me for human experiments. That. You fucked up. When I found out, I talked to Director Horidori. But he acted like he did nothing wrong. Why are you upset with me? You should be grateful. Your body is now special thanks to genome editing. Also, I would advise against pulling out of the experience now. Your body is still in a transitionary stage. It needs regular testing and medication. If you stop now, all the cells in your body will falter and dissolve. 
That shit they should like that no parent would fucking I don't know. The papers in the envelope didn't have any details. And Director Horidori didn't tell me anything. Do you notice any changes in your body? No, not really. It's the same as usual. Does your father know about this? I don't think so. I haven't told him. I didn't want him to worry about it, and Director Horidori threatened me not to. Well, this should go without saying, but I want you to keep this secret. Don't tell the police, your family, anyone. If you do, I'll be forced to destroy all of the data and the medicine that you need. And you know what that would mean, don't you? What a fucked up piece of shit. Thanks for telling me all this. It's going to be a huge help for the investigation. No need to thank me. I owe you my life, Mr. Ryuki. And besides, I decided to be honest from now on. I see. I like the look on his face. Yeah. You know, I actually want to dispel the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. You have a nice smile, Shoma. It fits your name perfectly. My name? Name. 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 Wait, I remember something. What is it? When I was being kidnapped by the researchers, I met Terror in the warehouse. What? I couldn't see their face because they had a metal mask on, but I'm sure it was terror. They said... I am terror. If I have met Of course, that is what I will be. I told you I was only you, my true name. Would you like to hear? My name is... Dahlia. Dahlia? What is that? Is it, don't we have? Oh shit! Why does that sound familiar? Should I know a Dahlia? Fuck! Also sounds like a chick's name, right? Because just how soft it is, Dahlia. Do I know a Dahlia? Hmm. It also reminds me of a spoiler I saw, but I can't even fucking remember. Welcome back, Shoma. Dad. I should have asked about the. Here's home. home. And thank you. <laughs> you risked your life to protect me, right? They were just slightly so... kicking the dude. <laughs> I keep trying Shoma, to see. I'm so sorry. Until now, I've always been thinking about what's best for me. I always said I was doing things for you, but I was just being selfish. It caused so much trouble. At work and for you. Your mother and sister, too. But I'm done being selfish. I can't put you through any more pain. I'm going to quit comedy and get a normal, regular office job. Don't quit! You didn't do it as a side gig. What? I like your comedy, Dad. I like you as a comedian. Shoma. I don't care if kids make fun of me at school anymore. I won't let them say you're uncool. You're trying to help people with your jokes, right? It's just like when you protected me. You put your heart and soul into it so you can make people laugh and make this world a happier place. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. Aww. So... So... I don't want you to quit being a comedian, no matter what! I really hope this is like the true fucking route there. Dad, you dropped this at the warehouse district, didn't you? That's where I picked it up. And when I went to the police earlier, I borrowed some tape and fixed it. Congratulations, Dad. <laughs> you won the best dad in the world championship. It's a landslide victory. Mm. <laughs> you tried. 
trice. So hard as a comedian. And it's kind of lame. You're so cool at the same time. You drink too much, have nose hair sticking out, and wipe your face with hand towels. But you're my super dumb funny dad, and I'm proud to be your son. Mm. What? That's one spectacular prize. A landslide victory for me, huh? <laughs> you know, honestly, tearing up a little. It's so, it's so, it's like such a touching moment. By the way, Dad, there's one favor I want to ask. God of energy, indie, indie, a chaka max. <laughs> You should get to the hospital soon. Yeah. The case isn't solved yet, either. Yeah, I know. But just a bit... I... I want to watch them a little bit longer. They have a lot of issues to work out, don't they? Yeah. But I'm sure they'll be fine. Happy as long as they have smiles... Their world will be saved. Hey, Shoma, uh, what did you think of that joke? It was great, Dad. You really are the best comedian in the world. Mm. I find this all touching and shit. I really do, because it's like, oh, you know. Very sweet. Oh. Buck. Is this the ending? Surely not. It's probably... Man. It means... I was hoping this would continue because, like, it means that but I also got to do Mizuki's side. I haven't done Mizuki's side, so. I don't know if we want to count that as a thing. You know? But, um. Like. I'm trying to, like, figure out how I'm going to work this. But. The thing being is that. Um, knock that off. So I'm gonna just cut that. It's like, I think if I had pit prepare money, it would probably continue. And I'm kind of sad, because if that's the route, I don't even think it would be a good thing. You know? And I'm, to be honest, I'm slightly disappointed if that's the real route. Because it means instead of protecting his kid, he's off to go get money. And like he said, that's really selfish. A parent shouldn't be selfish. As a parent, your duty is to your child. Self-sacrifice should come natural. Because your child is the most important thing in the world. Anything else is of ill importance. Your partner. Your hobbies. Nothing is more important than your child's health and safety. Don't get me wrong, you're allowed to have your partner, you're allowed to have your hobbies, 
We were about to have a lot of stuff because, you know, humans need all that stuff. But the health and safety of your child should be of your top priority. If you, Because they are, in fact, your child. They depend on you and they need your help. Even when they're little, even when they're old enough to take care of themselves, they're still going to need you to be by them, you know. So there are still answers they're sometimes need or sometimes, you know, they feel insecure about stuff and they need help. Like, and even when you're a grown-up, sometimes you still can't do things on your own. Not because you can't do it yourself, it's just sometimes really scary and you need a helping hand. That's gonna suck. Sorry, I'm like looking at some stitch sewing stuff I'm doing right now and I'm already trying to figure out how am I going to get it to work? There we go. It'll probably work, maybe. I'm gonna have to chop off the feet on the other one just to take the shoes. Energy and sh to ending route and I still haven't even done Mizuki yet. This case isn't close. There are many mysteries remaining in the truth of the, the Terra Justice main character. In this game, the story branches at the Salmia. Follow the flowchart, select, and find a different route hidden in the dream world. So, this is where we've ended. Now, I kind of want to go onto Mizuki's. So, here's what I'm doing. Because you see how it flips over? As soon as whatever I did here switches into a Yuki path, but I don't want to do a the Yuki path. I want to go through the Mizuki path. And I know I said I was only going to go and do up until I got to an ending, not including the joking the joke ending that I got. So what I'm gonna do is. How much? We have. I don't have a lot of time right now. We have like about five minutes. So what I'm gonna do? Because it has been some time since the gum game has come out. So what I'm gonna do? And I know this is gonna make this episode slightly short. I'm gonna end this episode here. And I'm going to restart this on the Mizuki chapter. And I'm going to go through the Mizuki chapter. What is over here? And... I guess this is a summary of, like, what happened. It's like the summary of everything that's happened so far. I'm just going to go through all of that and show you guys all the summaries and stuff like that. Um, I kind of want to go up to the, the Tokiko one, just because, like, I'm pretty sure I have the numbers written down somewhere. So this is the one, I'm pretty sure if I had went prepare the money, it would be different. Actually, you know what? Since this is going in through what's his name's lines, and it looks like Shomaz was just straight up down here. Um, let's do that. Let's go through here and do prepare the money because I think that's where, instead of going to protect Shoma, it was just go get the money. 
I think at that point, that's where, yeah, choosing an alternate path would have done that. And it's much close, it's not that much further than what I did. Because going back all the way up here is a completely different route. So I will just do this route, which is much closer to my ending. It's like four spaces away. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll do this one. Just because the way it runs, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too far off from where it is. And while I do not like this one, it would give us, like, hopefully the round off. Because I don't want to go too... I don't want to open too many branches to the series. Because I want people to experience them themselves. And see all of it themselves, so... Showing you like a branch not too far off of what I could have chose doesn't seem too awfully bad. And I feel it would be much more better to do it this way. And since I already vaguely remember what I did, I'm pretty sure y'all would also be fine with that as well. Uh, But, if you guys wanted to see anything else, I could also start playing this game for my own amusement and for my own entertainment instead of having to, you know, feel pressured into playing it. You know, still don't get me wrong, I still play it because I like it. And I'm still playing this because I like this game. But having to record the episodes Super makes, makes it so that I am more inclined to keep playing it. You know what I'm saying? I have a bad habit of, you know, not finishing a game. So I'm just going to do everything the same, except for instead of telling him to protect Shoma, which is what you should have do as a parent, we're going to... What? And he goes over to the thing. It's an efficient way of training. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh. Excuse me. Style. I keep trying to see if like, cause I was supposed to get a fuck, a cone call. Because I'm trying to make an appointment with the doctor. Because I, like, I had to call in today. Because of my fucking foot. And while I can slowly put pressure on my foot, it still hurts. You know what I'm saying? So. Like, and if I, like, if it gets hit, like, and I'm still limping, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of limping a little bit, so. God, I don't, I'm really scared, like, not like scared scared, but I know it's not gonna be good, you know? He's got, oh, well, so for, uh, I think it was a super funny guy. And then, yep. Wish I could make this go faster. Uh, it was autograph. Um, 
since we already y'all already know. Komeji became a clan of any um shit. It was this way. The balloons, yes. Anyway, so the alarm went off. They so actually sell balloons here. Um To get some money ready, and those Yakuza guys I met at one of my shows, they said they had a good paying job. I guess I'll just have to take a chance on that. God, I don't like this. What does John the most? God, I hate this. Let's go. Let's do the job. What I need to help Shona is blank, blank, blank. And even if I have to blank, whatever happens to me, blank. God, where did he run off to? And with that, because we did, we don't know what's, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll end this episode here. And hopefully we'll figure, we'll figure it out together. Um, but honestly, I, I don't know. Just whatever. But anyway, for now, Tiny is the Chibi's is setting up.